When the eighth seed meets the first seed in the NBA playoffs, I'm not sure anyone expects the underdog to win many, if any, games. Yet, in the first half, no one gave the Clippers that memo during their opening round clash against the Warriors. For the entire first half, the Clippers continued to hurt the Warriors with their scoring. Lou Williams was the main weapon they employed, and Doc Rivers essentially forced Steve Kerr to bench Boogie Cousins because he simply couldn't stop Sweet Lou when involved in the pick and roll. Neither Clay or Cousins are on the same page in terms of how to defend this, and when Lou crosses over, he finds a wide open jumper. They set the ball screen for Lou high, Clay goes around it while Boogie just waves as he goes by, but check the resulting finish. Iguodala gets there, but Lou is just too good. Later in the second, they set that ball screen a step higher, and Lou takes off, leaving Boogie in his dust. KD doesn't want to help off a good corner shooter in Jermichael Green, so the only solution Kerr has is to take Boogie out of the game and get someone more mobile out there. On this pick and roll, Cousins was in better position and then forced to pick up Lou. Livingston gets worried that Iguodala needs help with the beast that is Montrez Harrell, allowing an extra step and a half to Landry Shaman, who is lights out when he gets a good look. But it wasn't like Boogie was the only culprit. Lou was having his way with others, too. The Clippers force a switch on the double ball screen, then bring Step up to be involved in the screen. Lou gets right to the baseline, finds a crack of an opening, and hits plus the foul. Williams also had nine assists, so when he wasn't filling it up in the first half, he was dishing. As Quinn Cook makes a mistake to allow middle penetration, Iguodala has to rotate over, and a little dump off gets Green the dunk. Montrez Harrell was in full-on beast mode in the first half, amassing 22 points in 16 minutes. And they targeted your friend and mine, Boogie, using his speed in the open court to get to the line. Harrell also benefited from the Lou Dew, as Williams turns the corner, drawing three defenders, leaving Montrez open to finish at the rim. Doc then hits them with the inside double ball screen, flared Chandler to the top, and set the inside ball screen with the corner empty. No help, slick pocket pass, thunderous finish, and the Clippers are hanging in there. Clearly, Doc Rivers wants his guys initiating offense as early as possible before the defense can get set. And this pick and roll becomes a two-on-one along the left side, and Harrell punishes Bogut and gets the end one as well. The Warriors were finally able to slow Lou down in the second half, with Looney able to cover more ground than Cousins. And the luxury of having Iguodala and Green out there in the pick and roll is that you won't get a very good look out of it. More Iguodala on Lou, Looney contains, and Draymond covers a lot of ground to rotate to the roll. Iguodala immediately covers for Green, Harold practically travels, and they're left with a contested three that misses. If you're enjoying this video and all my other playoff breakdowns, then you'll absolutely love what I'm doing for the EuroLeague. It would be great if you'd click over to their channel and watch some of my analysis on the second best league in the world. And if you're looking for a camp that will improve your game, then you simply must check out Point Guard College. With their intelligent approach to teaching the game, you'll learn what it truly takes to become great. With camps in over 30 states and Canada, PGC will unlock your true potential and transform you into the best player you can be. If you aspire to being a playmaker like Steph Curry or Lou Williams, there is no better environment than PGC. I like Garrett Temple, but the Warriors are definitely going to ignore him in order to load up on Williams. He's shooting under 30% from the three this year, so I don't blame them. That high ball screen that hurt them so much in the first half gets blown up when Iguodala simply goes underneath it and recovers, harassing Lou into a turnover. The troubling thing about Game 1 was how the Clippers allowed the referees to get the best of their emotions. They should know that being on the road as the underdog means you're not going to get calls. Of course, there were a few that were problematic and got Doc off the bench yelling. But towards the end of the half, Lou went up for a shot and got nailed, but there was no whistle. And it seemed to alternately set Lou and then Beverly off as they took turns arguing. This led to a technical foul, something you just cannot do against a team like the Warriors. And Doc made things a bit worse by not leaving the court after the first half, getting his own tech, and gifting yet another point to the Warriors. 
In reality, it's unclear if any of this matters so long as Steph Curry is lacing him up for Golden State. He was unstoppable all night long and thrilled the crowd as he broke the record for most playoff threes in the game. One more difficult than the next. You can argue Durant is a better scorer, but it's completely clear to me that Steph is the better offensive player and certainly more explosive and dangerous, driving the entire offense when he's out there, either with his shooting, passing, or just playing gravity. Doc tried putting Beverly on KD, a novel approach and something that will serve to get under Durant's skin. And the only surprising thing is that it took all the way till under the five minute mark in the fourth quarter for it to bubble over, resulting in a double ejection. But the game had long been over and the referees were just being prudent to avoid anything worse. Did this matchup work? Not really. Durant was able to score over Beverly, but there were a few possessions where Beverly clearly affected KD's rhythm. So stay tuned as this might be the most interesting individual matchup of the first round. It's possible the Clippers get hot and win one game, but they might also call attention to one of the key weaknesses the Warriors have on defense. And that's DeMarcus Cousins in the pick and roll. Get my free video on more X's and O's by clicking on the link below and like and subscribe and comment on this video. Lots more coming up.